Have you ever felt like the more you dive into your thoughts, the more alone you become? The deeper you understand, the less others seem willing to listen. It's not just in your head. Society has always feared deep thinkers, not because they're wrong, but because they see things others would rather not. History proves it. From Socrates to Nietzsche, from Galileo to Tesla, brilliant minds have been ridiculed, silenced, or ignored, not because they lacked intelligence, but because they made others uncomfortable. I just created this video in less than 20 minutes. And get this, the video with the same style and format has already hit over 1 million views, and this channel has gained 50,000 subscribers with just 14 videos. And here's another one, a different channel but with the same format, and the numbers are even more impressive. With 23 videos, it's already surpassed 2 million views. What's even crazier, this channel just launched a little over a month ago, and it's a long-form video channel. These numbers, they're absolutely insane for anyone. So today, I'm exposing exactly how this works. I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to easily create your own viral videos in the simplest way possible. And trust me, you're about to uncover secrets that no one has ever told you before. First off, these videos target emotions that keep the viewer hooked from start to finish. They also help the viewer by sharing real, actionable facts that they can apply to their own lot. Plus, they follow a simple but powerful storyline that makes it impossible to click away. But here's the truth. Creating videos that pull in these crazy high views isn't as easy as it seems, despite the simplicity of the video. If you look closely, the images, the video effects, the voiceovers, and even the scripts are all crafted with careful thought and precision. Now, if you've heard other so-called gurus tell you that you can automate everything, or that all you need is this tool, that tool, and boom, 90% of the work is done using AI. Let me stop you right there. I'm telling you, 99% of the time, you'll fail if you rely purely on AI and tool. Not only will you waste time chasing shortcuts, but you'll also burn money on tools that don't deliver. And worst of all, you'll lose your creativity, the very thing that makes YouTube content creation so much fun and exciting in the first place. To prove it, I can show you hundreds of channels with the same format, the same style, and yet they barely get any views or subscribers. But don't worry, I'm here to show you the right way. I'll guide you so that you can stay away from those mistakes and follow the path that leads to a successful channel. So in this video, I've created a fully updated step-by-step -step plan that'll have you ready to start your very own psychology channel by the end of it. And I promise you, the channel you create will have huge potential to blow up. All right, let's get right into it. How to write scripts and find the perfect keywords for your channel. What I usually do is copy their scripting by opening a viral video or the one I want to recreate. Then I click on the transcript at the bottom of the video, hit the toggle timestamps on the top right corner and copy the entire script. Paste it into a notepad file. You can use other tools, but I'm used to notepad. After that, I break it down into smaller parts before feeding it into ChatGPT. Why? Because right now, ChatGPT can only process inputs with under 800 words at a time. And if you check the total word count with wordcount.net, it will likely be around 3,500 words. ChatGPT won't be able to handle that all at once. In reality, I split the script into about 400 words because I like to review and read the script to fully understand it and make any edits I want. I copy and paste it into ChatGPT with this simple prompt. Please rewrite this script for me, but still keep the style of the script. Once ChatGPT generates the script, I'll tweak it if needed. You can ask ChatGPT to create different styles like friendly, engaging, or energetic, but I'd advise against overusing. Most of the time, ChatGPT doesn't get it right when you throw in too many keywords. So so just like that, you'll have a brand new script fast. Next up, let me show you how to create the right keywords. A lot of videos out there will push you towards tools like vidIQ or other similar tools. Honestly, that's a waste. Finding keywords like this is super easy and even more accurate. In the scripting thread, all you need to do is type in this simple prompt. Create 20 to 30 YouTube tags for this entire script and boom, you'll get exactly what you need, quick and free. Then, still in this thread, you can keep the process rolling by asking ChatGPT to create 15 different title versions for your script or even craft a short description for your video or even generate hashtags for your video. And you can do it all with ChatGPT without spending a single penny. Once you get the hang of using prompts, you'll quickly see that this tool is the ultimate powerhouse for writing YouTube script. 
far better than any other tool out there. Don't trust videos like this. I don't even need to watch them, and I can guarantee that the content will tell you to buy some tool or use a specific service. And honestly, we both know that they're all just calling the chat GPT API anyway. All right, next. I'm going to walk you through how to create a voiceover using Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is no longer a stranger to anyone, even if you're just starting to dive into creating YouTube content with AI. When it comes to finding the right voice, there's no shortcut. You've got to experiment with different settings and browse the library to explore various voices. I'm going to show you how I use voiceovers effectively, which can hook the viewers or listeners right away. First, let's head into the library. For a psychology topic, I'll go with the narrative and story category sorted by trending, and of course, the language needs to be English. Then, I apply a few filters like category high quality, gender male, and middle-aged for age. To find the perfect voice, my advice is to go through the entire list once if you can, so you don't miss out on any voice that might be a good fit. Trust me, sometimes I've had to browse the list dozens of times just to find what I'm looking for. This might seem like it's taking a bit of time, but as you know, when you pick a voice, it's hard to change it later for your channel. So, take your time and get it right. Okay, I've found a voice that sounds good. If life is a dream, let it be a good dream. Bring some warmth and hypnotic touch to your creations. Use Deep Dave as you see fit. Let's pick it and test it with the script we just created. Have you ever felt like the more you dive into your thoughts, the more alone you become? You know, when using a voiceover, sometimes a sample script might sound great, but when it comes to the actual script, the result doesn't always match expectations. So, the only way around that is to test repeatedly. I tried using the default voice on Eleven Labs, and after some trial and error, I finally found a voice that I'm pretty happy with. Let's listen to it again and see how it sounds. Have you ever felt like the more you dive into your thoughts, the more alone you become? The deeper you understand, the less others seem willing to listen. It's better now, right? However, you'll notice that the pauses are still a bit long, which makes the pacing slower. So, in the settings, I'll increase the speed to 1.05 and raise the style exaggeration by 20% to give it more energy. Now, let's listen to it one more time. Have you ever felt like the more you dive into your thoughts, the more alone you become? The deeper you understand, the less others seem willing to listen. It's pretty good now, and I'll go ahead and download this audio. Next, I'll trim the silence a bit more using a software called Audacity. It's completely free. The process is super simple. Import the audio into the software, then use Control plus A to select the entire audio. After that, go to Effect, then Special, and choose Truncate Silence. I usually set it to 0.3 and hit Apply. You'll notice the audio is trimmed down a little bit more. All right, let's listen to the full voiceover until now. Have you ever felt like the more you dive into your thoughts, the more alone you become? The deeper you understand, the less others seem willing to listen. It's not just in your head. Society has always feared deep thinkers, not because they're wrong, but because they see things others would rather not. History proves it. From Socrates to Nietzsche, from Galileo to Tesla, brilliant minds have been ridiculed, silenced, or ignored. Not because they lacked intelligence, but because they made others uncomfortable. This is pretty much all you need for voiceovers. Now, let's continue and create some visuals for the video. In the same scripting thread, use the following prompt. Create five prompts for generating images to illustrate this script. Use image styles randomly in monochromatic, a digital painting with an impressionistic style, and stylized digital illustration in front of a vibrant background. Then, follow it with the script you want to generate images for. Remember to keep the script short, like mine. You can ask ChatGPT to create 30 prompts for a longer script if you want, but you'll run into problems because you won't know which prompt matches which part of the script. Also, make sure to specify the image style like I did. If you don't, the results will be pretty terrible, like this. Once you have the prompt, just copy it and paste it into the prompt box at Leonardo AI. For the settings in this case, choose Phoenix 1.0, set the generation mode to 16 by 9, perfect for long form video, and choose four images as usual. Then click generate to see the images created from the prompts ChatGPT gave you. While we're waiting, I copy the entire prompt and generate all the images at once. The results are impressive, and you might be wondering how I can use keywords like monochromatic, a digital painting with an impressionistic style, and stylized digital illustration in front of a vibrant background. All of this will be revealed in my community. Okay, let's check out the image in full screen, and I'll select a few of these images for my demo video. 
Done. Honestly, making these videos is really easy and doesn't take much time once you know how to do it. All right, now let's move on to the most important step, editing. We'll combine the voiceovers, images, effects, and sound to create the finished video. For this, I use CapCut. Honestly, there's no faster or more efficient software than CapCut right now. In CapCut, import all your footage and let's get started. For this demo video, I'll need five images, including four images I created from Leonardo AI and one background image for the text animation. The audio will obviously include the Eleven Labs voiceovers, a background music track, and a sound effect for the transition, which I'll choose as a camera photo sound. All right, next, let's drag all this material into the timeline below and arrange it precisely. This part is pretty quick. You just need to adjust the images to align with the voiceovers and background music on the bottom layer. Next, I'll add a transition transition effect to the first and fourth sections. Go to Transition, then to Light Effects, and drag Glare 2 between the two images. For the duration, on the top right, I'll set it to 1.2 seconds for the first one and 0.7 seconds for the second one. Next, of course, I'll add the camera short sound effect right below the glare transition effect. Now, for the text animation, go to Text, add a default text. On the top right, hit Enter to ensure that the lines have even spacing and balance across the video. I'll pick the Garris font, set the font size to 7, and align it to left. Then, adjust and edit the layout of the text to balance it properly on the screen. For the text animation, I'll select Type 2 as the effect. Set the duration to 15 seconds, and you'll notice it's slightly longer than the voiceover. Depending on the effect, you'll adjust the duration so the text matches perfectly with the voiceover. Next, I need to add a retro effect to create an extra emphasis. I go to Effects, search for the Noise effect, and apply two noise effects, Noise 2 and Black Noise to the background image. You'll notice the effect immediately. Next, I'll apply a zoom effect for each scene. At the beginning of each image, create a keyframe. Then at the end of each image, create another keyframe. After that, set the scale to 105. Very quickly, you'll have a zoom effect, and you just need to apply this across all the images. Finally, at the start of the video, I want to add a caption animation for the intro. I'll go to Caption and select Generate. Wait a moment for CapCut to create all the captions for me. I'll delete the unnecessary ones, then go to the Animation section. Select Type 2, and this time, set the duration to maximum for each tech. Alright, in no time at all, I'll have a video that's ready to go viral on YouTube. Always remember, your job is to create videos, even better than the ones I make here. Keep in mind, I've spent less than 20 minutes between learning and making this video. If you're running a YouTube channel focused on psychology, stoicism, or philosophy, you need to invest even more time than I did. Once you have the template in place, you'll be able to create videos faster. But remember, in the beginning, take your time and be just as meticulous as the top channels I mentioned at the start of the video. Alright, if you still have any questions or need support, head over to my website and sign up for the Lifetime community right now. I'll be able to support you much more easily and directly there. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching the entire video, and I'll see you in the next series of AI content tutorials.